Coming up next on BG24 News. Last night, we covered Obama's Shiro visit on BG24 Politics. Tonight, we'll bring you highlights from Governor Rit Mitt Romney's remarks in Toledo. BGSU musical theater students performed Anything Goes this past weekend at the Wolf Center. See how you can get involved with the organization. Plus, the administration building isn't the only building set to be demolished. Greek life is looking at a huge makeover. These stories and more next on BG24 News. Wood County's live local news starts right now. This is BG24 News, live at 5.30. Good evening, everyone. I'm Parminder Bunga. And I'm Tyler Savino. An update tonight on major changes that hit BGSU's campus. A representative from Capital Planning hosted a forum about construction and renovations. He confirmed that Greek houses will be torn down and replaced with new units. The locations for the units are not yet confirmed. The administration building will also be demolished, provided the university receives enough donations. Reporter Christina Hepner will have full coverage of this forum on Tuesday. One of the best runners in the world will visit BGSU tomorrow. Dave Waddle is an Olympic gold medalist. He won gold in the 800 meter run in the 1972 games in Germany. One year later, Waddle graduated from BGSU. He will return to his alma mater at three o'clock tomorrow at the Stroh Center. He will talk about what he calls a winning attitude. From Avenue Q to the Spelling Bee, the Musical Theater Students, or Mutz Group, presented its first cabaret of the semester this past weekend. Students brought their own voices to the new Eva Marie Saint Theater. How did the small black stage impact their performances? Reporter Madeline Fenning gives us a look at BGSU show business. Bowling Green State University's Mutz, or Musical Theater Students, presented their first cabaret of the season last weekend. The cabaret was open to students as well as the general public. The cabaret, entitled Anything Goes, featured students from every class standing performing musical theater hits that crossed various genres of theater. The cabaret featured solo performances, duets, and both small and large group numbers. Students selected numbers from musicals Avenue Q, Legally Blonde, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, and more. According to the president of Mutz, the Anything Goes Cabaret was approached with a different goal compared to previous Mutz performances. Well, this year we're really focusing on quality over quantity. Last year we had a bunch of cabarets. We had one every month, but this year we're doing to a semester and we're really trying to focus this year on getting the performances to be perfect and ready to perform on you know a moment's notice. The cabarets will be hosted in the new Eva Marie Saint Black Box Theater located in the Wolf Center. The Black Box Theater differs from a typical staged theater by allowing up to 120 audience members to surround almost the entire performance space. The Mutz just wrapped up their first cabaret of the semester in the new Eva Marie St. Black Box Theater. The performers were able to perform in the middle of the audience, allowing for a more intimate performance. Yes, I really did enjoy that, um, the way you could see all angles. It was really nice. Students and community members can attend the Mutz cabarets free of charge if they want to get the theater experience. And for students who prefer the stage to the seats, Mutz provides opportunities for everyone. It's open to any student. We actually have a bunch of students now who aren't theater or musical theater students at all. It's basically just people who, you know, maybe like musicals or like music and want to hang out with a bunch of people. We do all kinds of stuff that's not just the cabarets. For more information on joining Mutz, you can attend any one of their Wednesday meetings at 10.15 p.m. in room 2015 in the Moore Musical Arts Center. I'm Madeline Fenning, BG24 News. You can see the Mutz in action at their next cabaret, Saturday, November 10th. Record numbers of students are visiting the Learning Commons this year. The, Jero the Learning Commons in Jerome Library provides free tutoring for students. Today, Learning Commons tutors focus on one scary subject, math. The hour session was called Surviving Math. Tutoring was tailored to cover everything from pre-algebra to calculus. At 3 p.m. tomorrow, the Learning Commons will switch gears and talk about writing. The session is called Demystifying Academic Writing Expectations. BGSU Sustainability is hitting the radio airwaves. Our friends at WBGU-FM are unveiling a new talk show called Beyond Green. The show will focus on environment and sustainability at the university and county levels. The first installment will feature the past president of Green Energy Ohio and BGSU Sustainability Coordinator. You'll be able to listen to the show on WBGU-FM channel 88.1 or on the India Radio WFAL. 
It will be broadcast on Monday from noon to one. We'll provide links to listen on our Facebook page on facebook.com slash bg24news. It's an exciting weekend at BGSU. Homecoming's here. The homecoming parade takes place tomorrow and will be led by gold medalist Dave Waddle. Make sure to catch the Stroh Show this Saturday followed by the big game at 3.30 p.m. And to end things with a bang, a bang, make sure to see the homecoming concert featuring Cobra Starship and 303. Homecoming weekend also means free-for-all parking. Starting at 2 p.m. tomorrow, anyone can park anywhere on campus. Usually free-for-all parking doesn't begin until 7.30. Drivers won't need a parking pass or need to put coins in a parking meter. Parking Services says this is to accommodate campus visitors for their homecoming activities. Reserved, handicap, and restricted areas will still be enforced as usual. Free-for-all parking continues until 7 a.m. on Monday morning. A video contest could save lives and win you $4,000. The Counseling Center is hosting a suicide prevention video contest. Students can enter in teams of two to four and submit three suicide prevention videos. The topic should address the LGBTQ veteran or general student populations. The registration deadline is 5 p.m. on Wednesday. To enter, email Patricia Hellier at phellier at bgsu.edu. And as we move into a exciting and pumped homecoming weekend. We can only hope that the weather's gonna match. Uh, Lacey Hagen, does that look like it's going to be the case? Well, it looks like we'll have some really nice weather for this weekend. Coming up shortly, I'll have a look at your local forecast for all the homecoming activities we have going on. So for the current conditions right now, um, we're looking at about 63 degrees with a little bit of clouds. So we could stick with this for the rest of the weekend. Thanks, Lacey. Coming up next, Governor Romney spoke to, to thousands in Toledo last night. The crowd got so wound up that a reported fight broke out. It's almost homecoming weekend and the homecoming queen nominees want your vote. They'll tell you why to pick them. Stay with us. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today's episode of BG24 News. I'm Jonathan Kyleholtz. We are here at the Obama Rally Stop in Toledo, Ohio, and we are going to use this as a jump off point for our brand new series every other Wednesday night on WBGU TV called BG24 Politics. We're going to make politics fun, interesting, and informative. Check us out. September celebrates National Hazing Prevention Week across the country. Greek Life at BGSU is participating in the celebration. BG24's Tom Bigley tells us how. This past week was National Hazing Prevention Week at Bowling Green State University, hosted by the Panhellenic Council. Members of the Greek community are taking a stand to raise awareness on the issue of hazing. Colleges across the country are participating in this event and can advocate the cause in a variety of ways. Taking part in this week allows campus communities to become aware of how to prevent anything that can be considered hazing. At BGSU, the Bystander Intervention Plan is being promoted to help students if they encounter any act of hazing. I just really hope that everyone takes a stance and with the Bystander Intervention Plan, I hope that people come and actually support it. And if something is happening with hazing, they step in and don't let it go. And they report it if they see the issue happening when it happens. Kristen and members of the Panhellenic Council have been pushing for this week to be a campus-wide stand for hazing prevention. Fraternities and sororities aren't the only groups that are being asked to get involved. Signatures have been collected on a banner for the public to sign to show students taking the pledge to end hazing. On Friday, the banner will be carried in the homecoming parade and put on display in the Bowen Thompson Student Union after this week. For BG24 News, I'm Tom Bigley. Students can still take the pledge to end hazing. For more information, BGSU offers support online for students who might feel they are hazed. We've put the link on our Facebook page. Mitt Romney held a rally at the Seagate Convention Center in Toledo yesterday, a mere 20 minutes from Obama's visit to our own Stroh Center. The Republican candidate appealed to voters, claiming that our president has failed in his term and that we can't survive another. Over the past decades, they've held down the value of their currency. You wonder, what, is, what does that mean? What does that do? Here's what it does. It means the prices of their products are artificially low. And so if you're an American company manufacturing a product that competes with their product, why well, their prices are low. And so the American company ultimately goes out of business and we lose the jobs. That's what's been happening over these years, after, one year after the other. The president has had multiple opportunities to label China a currency manipulator. He hasn't. 
I will. However, Romney's words did not win over the entire audience. About halfway through the rally, a few swipes were exchanged when a large banner was raised in protest against the candidate. The sign was torn down by angry supporters, and those involved were escorted out of the building. After leaving BGSU, Presidential President Barack Obama spoke at sister school, Kent State University. He showed a sense of humor after he misspoke. Obama slipped up while talking to supporters, then made a reference to GOP presidential candidate Mitt Romney. Uh, the plan that I put forward, practical, specific, five-point plan to grow our middle class, create strong jobs here in Ohio and around the country, and, and lay a stronger foundation for our economy. First thing is I've, I want to see us export more jobs, uh, export more products. Excuse me. <laughs> I, was, uh, I, I, I was channeling uh, my opponent there for a second. For our coverage of Obama's visit and speech at the Stroh Center, check out our website at bg24news.org. With homecoming game comes along homecoming king and queen. BG24 Chiffon Anderson spoke with the ladies who are hoping for the title. We'll hear from two of them then, then, them now as we go to break. My name is Kayla Johnson and I'm on the 2012 homecoming court. I believe I should be homecoming queen because I'm a living example of the Bowling Green State University values. I value collaboration, creativity, and most importantly, respecting each other. Maya Angelou said it the best, that people will forget what you did, people will forget what you said, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And through my experience as a first college generation student, I know that anything is possible. Hi, my name is Jessica Alt, and I'm so excited that I'm up for the Homecoming Queen 2012. I want you all to know that I've come from a difficult life at home, and I've overcome a lot of challenges. I understand that some of you probably feel the same way, but I want you to know that the grass is greener here at BGSU, and I've loved this place ever since I came here. I'm here for all of you for anything you need, and I hope you love BGSU as much as I do. Vote for me. Wood County's live local forecast with BG24 Black Swamp Weather. Hi, Lacey Hagen here with a look at your local forecast for the BG24 News. For our current conditions, we're sitting at about 63 degrees, a few clouds, overall pretty good temperatures. For tonight's forecast, we'll hit a low at about 47 with some, still some lingering clouds. For tomorrow's forecast, we'll be out 69 degrees, which will be perfect weather for the homecoming football game. No need for any umbrellas. It'll be mostly sunny. We'll have a little bit of a breeze at about 7 miles per hour. <laughs> tomorrow night's forecast, we'll be getting out to about 45 degrees. Partly cloudy, so pretty good weather for any homecoming activities. So if you look at the local weather now, um, we're not really getting any rain up in the Toledo area, mostly staying to the east, and um, doesn't look like we have any coming in the near distance. For our current temperatures, up around Toledo, we're sitting about 64. If you venture out to the west a little bit, we're a little bit warmer, sitting about 70 degrees. For the five-day forecast, for tomorrow, we'll be at about 69 degrees, getting to a low about 45. For Saturday, we'll reach about 70 degrees, um, with a low of down to 48, would be great weather for the homecoming football game. Sunday will bring in a little bit of rain, sitting about 65 degrees with low of 39. Monday will reach about 69, mostly sunny, and Tuesday about the same with 73 degrees. Californians could soon see Google's driverless car on the roads. The governor is scheduled to sign a bill at Google's headquarters today. It's expected to be the bill making the company's car street legal. Google's self-driving car has computer-controlled pedals and steering which are guided by cameras, GPS and other sensors. Someone still has to pay attention and be ready to take over if needed. Now let's go to Caleb Page for a preview of BG24 Sports. Coming up next on BG24 Sports, it's homecoming weekend. Hear who the football team hosts this Saturday? That and more coming up next. Thanks, Caleb. Now, two more potential homecoming queens will, be, will vie for your vote. Do they represent the Falcon spirit? Hi, my name is Maddie Brown, and I'm an AYA integrated mathematics major from Delaware, Ohio. And I was in, I'm involved in the President's Leadership Academy on campus, as well as Young Life Dance Marathon, and I had the honor of being Freedom Falcon last year. And there are some wonderful women on this year's homecoming court, and I hope that you will get out there and vote. Hi, everyone. My name is Erin. 
Porter, and I am a senior political science major, English minor, from Republic, Ohio. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, vote for me this week for homecoming week. Uh, when I came here four years ago, I knew I wanted to become really involved with everything, and uh, I've been out there involved with Greek life, orientation, and a couple other different things around here on campus, and I just wanted um, to be homecoming queen, so I felt that you know I've given something back to the community, uh, and you know be able to connect the alumni to once you graduate and show them that they're Falcons forever and get people excited, not just during homecoming week about Bowling Green, but all year long so we can uh, keep that Falcon spirit. It's unfalcon believable coverage that you won't get anywhere else. This is BG24 Sports. Welcome to BG24 Sports. I'm Caleb Page. Thank you for joining us. It's homecoming weekend, and the BG football team will be in action this Saturday at the Doit against Rhode Island. The Falcons lost to nationally ranked Virginia Tech last weekend and only have one win on the season. Coach Dave Clawson says there's work to be done. This is certainly a game that we, we should match up well with them. And we need to play well, we need to execute well, and um, we moved the ball in offense well against Florida. And, and we certainly moved it well against Idaho. We self-destructed a lot that game. But if we can get back to executing the offense at the level we're capable of, then we don't have procedures and we don't do those things, we certainly expect to have success. The men's soccer team was in action last Tuesday against Milwaukee. The game went into double overtime and ended in the 103rd minute of the match on a Danny Baraldi penalty kick to clinch the 2-1 win. The Falcons improved to a 3-4-2 and two record on the season. BJSU Athletics caught up with head coach Eric Nichols. Go! Very, very pleased. Um, I think this is actually one of our better uh, overall performances from, from beginning to end. First uh, 20 minutes or so, we were on our heels a little bit, but uh, I didn't think we were giving up anything too dangerous. Um, and then we got a hold of a little bit, got the, got the goal. Um, and then I uh, had a nice chat at halftime about what it was going to take to finish this game out. And I thought we came out of halftime uh, firing on all cylinders. Uh, we looked really good. That was some of the best attacking soccer we've had all year. This week, the women's golf team won the Cleveland State Invitational after finishing an overall round of 309. Four Falcons finished sub-80 with a low round of 76 coming from Bailey Arnold. The Falcons are back in action on October 8th and 9th at the Butler Invite in Indianapolis. Taking a look at the upcoming Falcon schedule, the women's swim team will be in action at the Gene Campbell Alumni event on Saturday at 11 a.m. The football team, as mentioned, will play on Saturday, taking on the Rhode Island game time, 3.30. That's all for BG24 Sports. We'll be right back. Lacey Hagan's back for a last look at weather. Lacey? Well, it looks like we're going to have really nice weather for this weekend. Um, for Friday will be about 69 degrees. Saturday we're going to get to 70, so in my opinion that is perfect football weather. Sunday we'll have a few showers, but hopefully Friday and Saturday most of the homecoming events will be pretty much wrapped up. So with all this nice weather, what do you guys have planned for this weekend? Uh, well, I don't know. I was thinking about the game. I was thinking about the game also. It's, <laughs> what time, about it's you? time for them to get off the snide and get that W. That yeah, yeah true. That's, that's get a w. I agree. <laughs> and then you gotta go to the concert. Gotta celebrate with. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cobra Star. Gotta get the Cobra music. Star. Have a nice little yeah. party at the Stroh. Exactly. And then you gotta Cobra enjoy. Show. You gotta enjoy the good weekend. Good weather. Yeah. As Lisa good, said. good weekend parade, sounds good. So. Parade tomorrow too, so that'll be exciting. Exactly. Nice yeah. weather for everything. Anyways, for Taylor, for Tyler Savino, for Tyler Savino, Lacey Hagen, and Caleb Page, I'm Perminder Bunga. Thank you for watching. If you have comments or story ideas, check out our BG24 News website at www.bg24news.org. We'll see you on Tuesday. Thank, good night.